All right, guys. So we are here with the man, the myth, the legend, Bulky Built uh, Bulldogs. We just going over vaginal cytology. What's going on, Bully fam? Just showing some different slides and stuff like that. Just letting you guys basically listen in as we have this conversation. And I'm really just kind of showing him the information data that I've collected while doing vaginal cytology. I feel like if you do it with your progesterone testing, it can definitely significantly help your results. So I just figured I'd show you this real quick, bro. This dog, I don't know what. So this was what, these are the slides that were given to me by this vet, right? And she explained to me that these are like the best examples of a dog that's ready and a dog that's not ready. You see how it look like fried eggs? Yeah. So that means that she's not ready yet because the nucleuses are huge. You know what I'm saying? And they're mostly scattered. You know what I'm saying? So that would indicate that she's not ready. So it, to me, this would tell me like she's probably in the beginning of her heat because usually the cells are super scattered. This is what I'll show you now what the dog is supposed to look like when she's actually like ready, right? Looks like somebody took all the cells and swooped them up all together, bunched them up all together. Yeah. And the nucleus is the fried egg is gone. Exactly. And they're sharp edges now. So this is a dog um, that was ready to be bred. Just to show you guys the difference, you know what I'm saying? So I have a female that she was on day six, day nine, and day 10. On day six, she was a 6.17 whole blood. She was a, a 10 on serum. On day nine, she was a nine on whole blood. She was a 15 on serum. And then on day 10, she was a 17 on whole blood, and she was a 28 on serum. But this just like really just reaffirmed it for me was when we did the cytology so as you can see right i'm just trying to get a good area you can still see somewhat of the nucleuses they're not sharp edges and they're spread out so so you're looking for bunched up close no nucleuses sharp edges so this tells me that like okay she's like in heat but she's probably early which the progesterone test both whole blood and serum confirmed that so then this was when she was day nine so six so three days later this was when she was day nine and then she jumped from a six to a nine and a 15. So as you can see, like when you look at the giant, like, you know, the grand scheme of things, some of the, they're starting to change a little bit. You don't have as many with that egg yolk looking thing. You know, you still have some here and there, but for the most part, you see it's going away. So, and then by the last one, I mean, this is pretty much, she was pretty much ready here to go because now they were losing their nucleuses and they were all getting bunched up together, you know? So I think we did like our first AI here, but you can see like she, if I under, if I remember correctly, she actually took on the later breedings and that's because it, we could have still allowed it to go a little bit further. So I just figured I'd show you that good. Like, especially if you run it concurrently with your progesterone testing, like I feel like it's, it's, it's helpful because the numbers can sometimes be like you can sometimes question the numbers but there's no questioning like if those cells start turning into cornflakes i guess you would call it you know because cornification yeah there's there's no mistaking that you know so i just figured i'd show you that real quick so hi guys i hope this information is helpful it's useful all right yeah, <laughs> yeah I used to look inside it with the little yeah this was it you could put the slide in there right yeah, you put the, you would put this on the slide I'm not even gonna hold you. I honestly never used it, but I mean, you think you think it's as decent as like the regular microscope or no, nah? Right? It's, I mean, it's just, old school. Yeah, it's just it's kind of old. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely what we had back then. Oh shit! Couldn't afford no damn microscope <laughs> back then. 